is up guys chintan here once again and so far on this channel i've covered two streams one of creating bots that can play games and another of improving game graphics both showing good applications of deep learning in gaming today i wanted to start a third stream where i'll be exploring applications of deep learning in the field of gaming but specific to creating animations if you know about the game fortnite you probably also know about the craze surrounding the in-game celebration emotes or dances it has become so popular it even made an appearance in the world cup final something this simple and this silly has in fact become a significant source of money for the game developer with its in-app purchases this got me thinking if it were ever to become possible to record yourself on webcam and create your own dance within the game Currently doing that would require something like a Microsoft Kinect which has dedicated hardware to sense your body movements but i think with advances in deep learning it will soon become possible to achieve similar features with just a good old webcam to try this out i have used two dl techniques in this project first we'll use a pose estimation algorithm to extract a stick figure representation of our webcam recording This works on 2D images in real time and is capable of identifying different parts of the body shown here in different colors of the stick figure. For a game developer, this pose representation is enough to animate a character in the game. But since I'm not the developer, I'll have to simply visualize how a Fortnite dance would look like created using this pose. For this, I've used conditional adversarial networks called Pix2Pix in order to generate the Fortnite character in the given pose. Links to both the papers are down in the description. For this image, the algorithm uses convolutional neural nets at multiple scales to identify different parts of the body. The image shown here is the output of a net trained to detect the right arm of the body, shown as the highlighted area in this heat map. Once all such body parts are detected, it uses a greedy parsing algorithm to connect the nearby nodes to form a connected graph giving us this stick figure. Once we get the stick figure, we need to convert it into the Fortnite character. For this, we'll use the same pose estimation algorithm to generate our training data. We obtain labeled training data with this, where the pose figure is our input and the Fortnite character is our target label. Then A pix2pix network is trained to translate the input to the output. It uses a generative adversarial network for producing the target image conditioned on the input image rather than on random noise. So we can actually generate images of the Fortnite character that follow the pose given as input. Both input and target images are available to the generator and discriminator networks during training. The generator network in Pix2Pix explicitly produces both real and fake images so that the discriminator can learn to differentiate between the two faster. After both the generator and discriminator losses converge, the network produces quite decent results. It has learned to follow the input pose very well by associating each body part of the Fortnite character with the stick figure. Unfortunately, the images produced are very blurry. without high levels of details let me know in the comment section down below if you know how i could improve the results of the pix to pix network anyways here are few more fortnite dances i created from my webcam recording
for this video. If you enjoyed, give it a like. If you thought I made a fool of myself, press like twice. Actually, press once. And in either cases, please subscribe. I'll see you guys soon.